Welcome to our lecture examples on IFRS 13. Remember that I'm not going to work through all of the examples provided. I'm going to work through a selected few and the remaining examples you can work through as self-study. At the beginning of the reporting period, Hein Limited issued 2,000 debentures of 1,000 rand each, carrying interest at 10% per annum. The debentures are redeemable in five years' time. Hein Limited designated this liability as subsequently measured at fair value through profit or loss. At the end of the first reporting period, the instrument is trading in an active market at 951 per debenture for market participants that hold the debentures as assets. Now important, they indicate to us that the instrument is trading in an active market. If it is the instrument, do you agree with me? This is the exact same similar instrument. And this is in an active market. Therefore, we need to determine our fair value at the end of our reporting period. And this will be the 951, as this is the quoted price in the market that we can use. Now, important, we need to identify that this is based on a market approach. Why? Because they indicate to us that this is in an active market and we obtain quoted prices in a market. Therefore, guys, if I refer you back to your revision sheet, you should be able to identify how do we disclose this fair value measurement amount in our financial statements. Now, first we have identified that this is a liability. And yes, there is quoted prices in the market, therefore we can use the quoted price. And we've identified that this is based on the market approach. Therefore, if there's quoted prices, this will be disclosed as a level 1 hierarchy in our financial statements. Guys, do you see that you need to know these theories? It's important. You need to be able to identify if it's a liability and that they've indicated to us that there's an active market. Therefore, you need to know that this is a market approach and when there is quoted prices, this will be disclosed as a level 1 hierarchy. At the beginning of the reporting period, Tox Limited issued 2,000 debentures of 1,000 rand each, carrying interest at 10% per annum. The fair value of the debentures at initial recognition is 2 million as the market-related interest rate also equals 10% initially. Therefore, guys, if you use this information provided and you calculate the present value, your present value will equal to 2 million. The debentures are redeemable in five years' time and are not traded in open market. Tox Limited designated this liability important, this is a liability, as subsequently measured at fair value through profit or loss. And now, at the end of the first reporting period, the market-related interest rate is now 10.5%. Guys, important for identical similar debentures in the market. Therefore, first thing to identify, this is a liability and not traded in an open market. And then they provide us with our market-related interest rate for identical similar debentures of 10.5%. I would recommend that a question need to indicate to you a little bit more information indicating that this is identical. Okay. Now, guys, first thing, we need to refer to our revision sheet. We've identified that this is a liability. Is there quoted prices? No. Therefore, is there identical items held as an asset by another party? Yes. But guys, they do not provide us with a fair value. If there is no fair value provided, we need to then use our valuation technique. Therefore, guys, yes, there is similar assets in the market, but there is no valuation technique available. Or you could have indicated that for this specific debenture, which is so similar, identical, they provide us with a 10.5% market rate. Therefore, 
If we debate it this way around, our answer would be no. And we need to then use a valuation technique. Okay, so guys, I'm going to recap. The first scenario will be if we assume that there is identical items in the market of other debentures exactly similar, and the answer is yes, we need to use the fair value of those debentures. But they do not provide us with that fair value. Therefore, we need to use a valuation technique. The next scenario is that there is no identical debentures. However, they do provide us with a 10.5% relating to that specific item. Okay. Then, yes, we need to use our valuation technique. Or, no, use the valuation technique. But, yes, it is a similar identical debenture. The valuation technique that we will use will be our income approach. Why the income approach? They provide us with a future value, a period. We can calculate our payments and we know that our rate is now the 10.5%. Therefore, we are able to calculate our present value. Now, the next question is, how do we disclose this? Level 1, Level 2 or Level 3? Now, guys, important, this is an inactive market as there is no active markets available. Therefore, if this is an inactive market, we identify that this is for similar identical items. There is a little bit observable information, which is the 10.5%. And therefore, we will disclose this as a level 2 hierarchy. Now, guys, we can also debate maybe this can be included in a level 3. However, based on the fact that there is some information available, we will disclose this as a level 2. At the beginning of the reporting period, M Limited bought 5,000 listed Audrey shares at 44 and 40 each. Now important, in this scenario, they buy. In the previous scenario, we looked at liabilities. Okay. Now they bought the 5,000 listed guys. Important, list it immediately. You need to know that this will be market approach. At 44 and 40 each as an investment, M Limited incurred 2% transaction costs as well on the same date. Now, important guys, the transaction costs, we need to identify if this should be included or excluded. M Limited designates this investment as measured at fair value through OCR. Now guys, when we look at our financial instruments during the year, we will discuss the different types of financial assets and financial liabilities. And now it's important to identify as well, when can we include transaction costs in our different financial assets? Now guys, this is where IFRS 13 and financial instruments link with each other. At the end of the reporting period, the shares were trading at 47 Rand 80 and transaction costs of 2% are normally incurred on all transactions. Now, this is important. They indicate to us that it is incurred on all transactions. Now, my question, what is the value that we need to use as our fair value at the end of the year? This is a market approach, therefore observable information. And we can use the 47 Rand 80 to value our shares. Therefore, initially, they've included this at the 44 Rand 40. Therefore, the initial recognition was the 5,000 times 44 Rand 40 times 1.02. Now, guys, we add this 2%. Now, why do we add the 2%? Because this is financial instruments carried at fair value through OCI and initial recognition, we need to include our transaction costs. Therefore, important, this is a financial asset carried at fair value through OCI 
and at initial recognition important guys initial recognition we need to include our transaction costs therefore plus transaction costs and that is the reason why we add the two percent only at initial recognition now the fair value at the end of the year they provided to us being the 47 rand 80 and times 5000 and this will be the 239 and therefore we need to recognize a fair value adjustment Therefore, guys, our fair value to be used at the end of the year will be the 47 rand 80. And we then need to disclose this as a level 1. Why level 1? Because this is a market approach. We are able to receive a quote in the market.